I'm here with Jessian Gray, Secretary General for Fermi 2020, who's currently preparing uh, the Global Young Visionary Summit here at ITU. So, uh, Jessian, what is this summit all about? Practically speaking, it's three days of debates, discussions, and negotiations between the 8th and the 10th of January 2020. The objective is to bring young people from all over the world together to talk about our common future and to try to find solutions, innovative, creative solutions to the world's most urgent, most serious problems. So of course this year that'll include climate change, but also improving the situation of refugees, reducing gender inequality, ensuring decent work and accessible health care. All these facets of sustainable development will be debated over the course of the summit. And so, who will be taking part in these debates? It's geared towards high school students, so most of our participants are 16 to 18 years old. And they come from different countries, diverse cultures, diverse socioeconomic backgrounds. That diversity is very important to us because it's essential to innovation and because it's a crucial way of making sure that the solutions we propose are accessible and appropriate and relevant to everyone, that we leave no one behind. And so this year we're hosting over 700 students at uh, the summit, so how will it all work? So there will be uh, different things going on at the same time at the summit. Um, most of our participants will be taking part in a role play style model United Nations debate structure where each participant is assigned a country at random which they have to represent and negotiate with other delegates to produce resolutions on each issue. But we also have two youth assemblies which, in which um, students represent young people in their actual country of residence and discuss challenges and solutions with other participants as peers. And so in the Model United Nations structure, participants really get a very intimate understanding of another country's perspective, which can have a really fundamental impact on their understanding of the complexities of international politics. But of course, in the youth assembly structure, there's a real opportunity for dialogue among young people from all over the world. And so, what's the role of ITU in all of this? Of course, ITU is very generously hosting the summit, so all the action will take place in the conference rooms of ITU. But beyond that, ITU has also been very involved in all the preparatory work leading up to the summit. So all the issues for debate were chosen with input from ITU experts and are directly relevant to the work of ITU. So the summit really owes a lot to ITU, not only in terms of logistical support, but also for the content and objectives of the summit itself. And it's a really great opportunity for us because the digital world is our future and ITU's work is really dedicated to ensuring that that future is a bright one. And the, the chance to discuss all these topical cutting edge issues with guidance from the world's leading experts will be an incredible experience. And so in all these discussions, uh, what do you think are the values uh, that, that this conference is promoting? Essentially, the values promoted at this summit are those of the United Nations, that is international cooperation, a respect for diversity, human rights and fundamental freedoms, um, diplomacy for peace, and of course uh, an eye towards new ideas uh, to respond to evolving social and economic challenges but without forsaking those fundamental principles. And so it sounds fantastic. Uh, what will participants really be taking away from this summit when they go back to their schools and their countries? From my perspective, the most essential role of the summit is to set up an educational dialogue. In today's world, it's impossible to deny that young people do have a role to play in international politics. Greta Thunberg is only one example. And so this summit is really about learning to reflect and take action and to gain confidence in our own understanding of the world so that we can make the right decisions when we step into that role. 
And the idea of uh, international exchange between young people is really essential because the issues that we're dealing with, like climate change, are planetary by nature. So uh, an international perspective is really essential. Of course, we won't solve every issue we tackle, but I see this summit as one step forward multiplied by 700. That's incredible. Thank you so much, Etienne, and uh, I can't wait to see you again at the conference uh, here at ITU.